Hey everyone, today we're going to be continuing off of the last video where I showed you how to make a new content type in Drupal. So this week, I'll show you how to make a new content type, but this time with entity referencing. And what I mean by that is this content type could reference this content type if we wanted to. So if we wanted to declare which courses this faculty member teaches, we can reference an actual course from our course list. So I'll show you with the example of a room. So we'll add a new content type, which will be a room. The description is going to be the location on campus. And the title field label will be room name. Okay, optionally allow them to preview explanation or submission guidelines. We could say, um, what is the room called? Save and manage fields. So first off, I want to get rid of this body field because it's not really relevant for our content type. So we'll start off by adding two standard uh, fields. The first one will be the building that it's in. So we can come down here and I will make that plain text label building. Save and continue. Uh, keep the default settings and only allow one building because a room cannot be in two different buildings. Help text, which building is it in? And we will not make it required just in case there's some instance where that wouldn't work out. Uh, and we'll add another field, which is room number. And again, we're gonna make that plain text because sometimes room numbers have letters in them. Uh, say if it were in the basement, it could be B102 or something. Um, so the label for that is going to be room number. Save and continue. And we will only allow one room number, no maximum length or 255 rather. Okay, save that. Help text. What is the room number? Okay, we won't require that again. Save, okay, and now we're gonna add a new field, but this time we're gonna make it of type reference to some content that we have. Because we're going to reference which classes are taught in this room. So we'll save that. And we will say there is an unlimited number of classes that can be taught in this room, um, just because we don't yet know, or um, who knows, maybe it's a really big room. So the help text, which classes are taught here? Okay, this will not be a required field. Now, once we get to the reference type, we will choose oh, default, and we're not going to create reference entities if they don't already exist. Basically what that means is if we were to add a new class to this room, let's say, uh, I don't know, some random IST class that was not in our course list already, then it would create a new one. Um, but I'm not going to do that for this. Um, but now once we choose which content type we're referencing, I wanna choose course. And we will sort by the, the subject of the course. We can leave that ascending and go ahead and save the settings there. Okay, so now we wanna go and make this new content type or add content of that type rather. So click add content, we'll make a new room and we'll say this is the computer lab and it's in the computer building. Very creative, room number uh, 101. And which classes are taught here? Now we can see once I start typing, uh, I'll say there's Java fundamentals, fundamentals are taught here. Uh, you could see that anything including an E in our course list will pop up and we can go ahead and just choose that. And this is the node reference there. And we'll say there's another class taught here. Uh, and that will be web technologies class. That seems relevant. 
Okay, so now we can save that, publish it. Now we can see a computer lab. Okay, it's in the computer building, room number 101. And now we see which classes are taught here. And we can actually click on these and go see the other content, the Java Fund Fundamentals class. And we can see all the information about that. And now these two content types or these two entities are referencing each other. Well, the room is referencing this class rather uh, and not quite the other way around. But we could set it up to sort of point towards each other if we wanted to. So the next thing I wanna show you is making a new view. All right, so here we are. I added a couple more rooms, um, an IST lab and a writing room, uh, just because I want there to be a little more data for us to see in our view. So to create our view, we'll head over to structure, scroll down to views, and we will add a new view. And the name of that view will be, I want it to be the room data. And we want to show content of type room. And we'll sort by the title. And we also want to create a page with that. And the page title will be, uh, yeah, I'll say rooms actually. And display format, unformatted list. I want it to be inside of a table. Uh, I think that would just look nicer. Items to display, 10, okay. Create a menu link. Um, yes, we'll do that. Uh, in the main navigation, link text, rooms. Okay, and we'll save and edit. Okay, now we can see um, we get a preview of what our table looks like. There isn't much yet, but we can add some new fields. So we'll add the building. We'll add the building of where that room is, and we'll add which classes are in there. Um, and I think that will be okay for that. Let's just see. Uh, and we can configure that. We format it. I'm, again, just going with the plain text. And there's other settings that you can look through, but I won't get into that now. Um, classes, yeah, I want to keep it as a label. Okay, apply, and we should be able to see, if we save that, we should be able to go and see our actual page here. Um, okay, so this is what the content looks like. So we have the title, building, and classes, and we want to take this link to find, okay, and We'll see the rooms, they're all inside of this table here. And there is a link on my site because I wanted to create a new page with that. Um, and so this isn't, views are not limited to just making tables of data. Um, you could format this really however you'd like, um, but that, it just takes uh, a lot of work to do that and uh, a lot of planning. Most of this would be planning out what how you want everything to be shown uh, but for this example i think it's nice to just come and see okay which rooms do we have there's a computer lab ic lab writing room which buildings they're in and which classes are taught in there and we can actually click on these and go see okay uh the computer lab i want us to check this out and get just sort of a different view of this actual room so that was entity referencing and views in Drupal. Uh, I hope that you learned something and thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.